ओके राधे राधे एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग सेशन ऑफ डेली विजडम फ्रॉम भगवत गीता टुडे वी हैव कहूट क्विज अप एंड ओवर टू यू नितिन जी टू गेट अस ऑल स्टार्टेड ओ ही वांट मी टू स्टार्ट दैट ओके मैं राधे राधे एवरीवन अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू टुडेस एडिशन ऑफ डेली विजडम फ्रॉम भगवत गीता um welcome today's session is a recap quiz session um that i'm also looking forward to for various reasons so without much ado thank you jyoti and um, sorry i don't know who was the host okay i joined late for a wonderful narad bhakti darshan session i'll i'll share my screen and we will get started with our opening prayers uh for today's session so let me share my screen are you able to see that yes nitin ji okay so we'll get started with our opening prayers and then i'll put on a slide talking about the rules for the benefit of people who might be doing it for the first time although all of you are used to kahoot right now but still so let me recite the opening prayers and then we'll get started guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwar ha guru sakshat par brahma tasmay shri guru ve namaha vasudev sutam devam कम सुचाणुर्मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु सो राधे राधे गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग अगेन ऑल ऑफ यू सो वेलकम टुडे इज द कहूट डे फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू दीज आर द you know the some of the not the rules i should say but what you need from a logistic standpoint two devices mobile laptop would be best you type in kahoot.it uh enter the pin and you are all set now kahoot as you would know you get rewarded for getting the answer right but then you get rewarded for getting the answer right the fastest more okay more points are there and for a for a change i get to participate in it as well today okay so without much ado i am going to hand it over to sandhya and himanshu i think we are going to run the game and i am going to look out look for the pin okay i don't know if if i am the early bird i get any credit for that but game on i hope i'll encourage all of you to participate um and this quiz just makes it exciting and engaging and uh, i'm making my debut as well so i look forward to it it will be fun explaining things that i get wrong today okay so but i'm looking forward to it regardless all right awesome thank you nitin ji um i will start sharing my screen and i'll also share the sound sure and all the best to everybody including nitin ji <laughs> thank you thank you for putting together the quiz and letting me make my debut here Hmm. I'm super excited. Okay, the game pin is loading. Let me feel the way Ladu feels every week. Okay. <laughs> can you hear the sound and can you see the? Yes. Game? Yes. Yes. Nail biting started already. <laughs> Okay, Nitin, caution, free. <laughs> Is that the real one or? <laughs> hey, Manshu ji, feel free to chime in. Yeah. yeah. So, Who's playing with my name here? Anyway. <laughs> It's going to so be fun. Take it out the report also. Where you going to display the overall rankings, top fifteen, or pretty much everyone? See. If you should don't like seeing your name after top fifteen, okay, and you want to take a chance, I would say pick up an ABS. 
because i think they are going to display the pretty much the entire report i'll leave it up to you but okay so the good strategy is to play with an alias if you win you can say yeah it was me but <laughs> if, let's say you are after 20th then you don't want to tell then you can either put my name or pick an alias okay that is that will be a good strategy looks like uh, annapurna ji wants to say something so i'll just uh, unmute her and hear her out yeah yeah you know annapurna i am attending from hospital because annapurna ji voice la she uh, you know i used to get eager to get into kahoot but uh, right now you know i i think i fractured is there a way that uh, she is in a hospital is there a way that i, I can play with one because i don't know this uh, facility it's uh, you know i'm rehab is there a way that i can uh, just uh, yeah. do it with one because i have i pad but you can you can it is a little tricky for you but you can switch between the screens then you can and i guess yeah you know, sorry to hear that i hope you're doing well yes yeah i'm i'm doing well you know i'm getting rehabilitating but i love kahoot I look forward for it last week also i was in tremendous pain so i didn't take the class and i wasn't having the two things you know today i told my doctor to bring it but i don't know this one uh, works with cellular data that one doesn't unless somebody helps me to get the you know uh, other wifi or something it's okay anupurna so, ji you, know? you can play uh, with your so i and... will try to do whether i can do it with anupurna ji just try your best your cellular and all that stuff will be more at your end you okay what i have to do you just have to go to kahoot.it as shown in the screen yeah yeah but right. when the okay okay and okay. then you just yeah. have to i have a kahoot app only that's why i was oh, joining okay. fast okay so just what is the it is the, what is the it? yeah i i'm going to do the number and join it see Two. What is the number? Two three two seven seven five. Okay, awesome. We already have twenty four participants up, and I am seeing very many interesting names such as Karm Yog. Chalo, khelte hain. <laughs> and many Nitin Kaushals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that will be fun. So I think we have how many participants? We can give two more minutes. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Let's let's see if we can get close to forty mark. We still have a couple of minutes. I would encourage all of you to please come in forward and and participate. We so, have around sixty uh, participants uh, in on call, close, but close to sixty. So I would encourage all of you to participate. Yeah, we let's haven't even crossed the fifty. We just crossed the fifty percent mark. Wonderful. SSPG wants to say something. Radhe Radhe SSPG. Yes, SSPG. Uh, uh he is not on the screen right now. Thirty-three. Also. Awesome. Your- That's yeah good. i think we can go for another maybe one or two minutes if we can get close to 40 that will be awesome i think one of these days we would like to break the record of 50 it's increasing 35 wonderful we can get close to 40 i'm sure so we have you know another 120 seconds so let's get as many as possible that will be nice sspg is back yes sspg radhe radhe I got it. Uh, the link uh, I did not get, but I typed Kahoot, uh, and I okay. got it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. All right. I think we have a pretty good turnout uh, for the game. So the more the merrier, the better. And it is going to get very competitive today. I'm very sure. Thirty-five. Should we get started, or should we wait? If anybody is trying to get in, you can raise your hand. We can give yeah. you a few seconds. Otherwise, I think we are we should be able to get started. Then. 
So for those who have just joined or are joining, we are playing Kahoot. You can see on the top of the screen uh, www.kahoot.it. Go to this website and enter the game pin 232775. Yes, and you have last 30 seconds to make it in. Um, or always encouraging on Thursdays, join in early so that you get time to settle in and, and participate right from the beginning, not in the middle of the game or otherwise. Okay, I think maybe you can do the countdown towards the last 10-15 uh, seconds and then get started. Yeah. Imanshu ji, can you also put it in the chat, the um, the website as well as the game pin? Yeah, it's already there. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Wonderful. How many we have got? I think we are good to start then. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, you can do. Okay. So, as... Uh, Instructed by Nitinji, I will do the countdown and then we'll get started. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And here we go Get with the on. game. First question, simple one. Material bliss is ever fresh, ever lasting, and ever increasing. True or false? You have 25 seconds. That was very tricky. I mean, that's not very fair. Yeah, these ice cream, ever lasting, ever fresh. Like ever ice cream, okay, we have 34 answers. Interesting. Nitinji, you take over from here to discuss and then... So let's let's talk about it. So material bliss, see, talking about happiness, it says that if you are seeking happiness in this world, it should meet three criteria. Those three criteria are, it should stay fresh, always fresh. It should, it should um, be permanent and it should be infinite, right? So in the material bliss, as we see, you know, if you are craving to, let's say, have rasgulla or ice cream, the first one will give you bliss. The second one, slightly less. The third one, even less. The fourth one, you will say, okay, anything but that, right? Same thing happens when we watch movie or uh, anything that we have been craving for. So it becomes stale. It is called the law of diminishing return. Like in economics, they say law of diminishing returns. Same thing happens. It keeps on decreasing as the time progresses. Even when you're hugging somebody, you know, you're, let's say you're craving to meet somebody uh, and you want to hug that person, after a while, you'll say, okay, now let, you know, let's, let's, it's fine. Because it keeps on decreasing. And secondly, it's finite in extent. And the third thing is that it is not permanent. Yesterday, you had a party, you enjoyed drinks, but today you have a hangover. You cannot retain that bliss. And on the other side, spiritual bliss is ever fresh, you know, ever increasing and infinite in extent and that is why it says our quest for bliss is very valid we all need to seek bliss and happiness it's a valid valid quest but the direction in which we are seeking is not right and that needs to be corrected i think i got this one right let's look at the scoreboard then for the first one yes time for the truth oh which nitin kaushal is this <laughs> You know what? I got it right, but that's not me. Okay, I should tell you that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm not even in top five. I can't believe it. Okay, so we have someone uh, claiming to be Nitin Kaushal, Tarunji, Govindji, Arav, and Trial. Interesting. Okay, so moving on. Next question is up on your screen. What are the driving forces behind the actions of God, saints, and ordinary souls? Options are desire for happiness, the need to fulfill their duties, the desire to avoid pain, or the desire to achieve success or earn money. Interesting expressions. <laughs> okay, I got it wrong. Who are we? Okay. 
interesting. We have mixed responses. Majority has opted for option A. Nitinji, you want to pitch it? Yeah, that's right. So anybody, including an insane person or a lunatic person, everybody has a priyojan or a motive behind doing anything. And that priyojan, end of the day, is desire for happiness. So whether it's God, saint, or ordinary soul, the motive behind every action is the desire for happiness. Now, the happiness for the ordinary souls is by seeking their own own happiness, right? Through self, because we are uh, we do it through selfish means. And in case of God and saints, they have no priyojan left because they've already attain, attained that happiness. So they attain happiness by performing actions for the welfare of others. But in either case, end goal is desire for happiness only. In one case, they get happiness by doing activities for the welfare of others. But in the other case, in case of ordinary souls, it is for their own selfish things okay now this is the first question which i am explaining which i got wrong okay because i didn't understand the question and answer sequence so let's move on oh now, with the answer i'm getting that right all right let's move on so then the leader mode would have i think changed let's see no no it wouldn't have changed because that was not me i told you nandi has climbed up good job but this person is keep, like keeping up to your name, Nitinji. Like staying on the top. Whoever is doing that, that's good. That's not me though. Uh, Anavarnaji, do you have a question? Uh, Anavarnaji. I don't know how to. That's... I guess there is internet issue. <laughs> I think Anupuna, you have some trouble of network there. So let's. Yeah, I guess we. Yeah, let's move on. I think there's a problem there. So. Yeah, I. Let's move on. Move on. Okay. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, and I also see there's very close tie among all the people in the leaderboard. I know it's pretty close by. Yeah, and but I, you know, I, you I can mute press, Anupunaji so that you know the questions. Uh, I have done that, that, but it doesn't uh -huh. because I'm playing with one. I can eat, but if I okay, uh, it's coming after a delay. That's all. Yeah. Okay, fine. I think we can move forward. Uh, moving on to the next question. This is a multi-select, so please keep that in mind that you have to choose multiple options and then press submit. When does ghee or clarified butter makes noise? When it is being made, when raw flour is added to it, when it is fully cooked or when it comes in contact with a cooked puri. Hmm. Is this, how is this question, Nitinji? <laughs> That's okay, I got the gist of it. Monica G has raised one. Okay. Before you start explaining, let's hear her out. Yes. Sandhya, uh, Radhe Radhe, last time submit button was down. Now, now this time it was up. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Is that I cannot I, I cannot change that. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. No worries. Okay. But at least I mentioned that you have to press submit. Yes, <laughs> I got into the question by then. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and okay. I think that's it. So, Nitinji, over to you. Right. So, I think this concept is about um, the saints uh, and the Siddh people. So, what happens is uh, when you warm the butter, that's when it makes noise. And then once it becomes ghee, it calms down. That means that noise is essentially the efforts that you put in before you are Siddh. Right? If you are Sadhan Siddh, the amount of endeavors that you do in the process of becoming Siddh, that noise comes. Once you have become ghee or the clarified butter, after that, you don't need to make noise. You are already Siddh, you are already settled. But then if the floor, raw floor is added to it, that's when you start making noise again. Okay. If you look at the saints, they come and talk 
they operate like us, they give discourses and stuff like that. They don't need to, but that's when they make noise because now they have to cook others to, for others to become Sid, or to help them become Sid, then they make noise as well. So in two cases, when it is being made at that point, because it is in it is itself a work in progress. And that is why noise is made. And after that, it is cooked. Then in order to cook others, that's where it makes noise. So I think the A and B are right. I, I got it right, but may not be the fastest one. So good question though. Okay. And I think there is a lot of ambiguity in the answers over here. So it looks like it was a tricky one. But the ones who got it right would have gotten, I don't know, I guess single pointer only, but yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Nitin <Ji. laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, whatever. Is this is this you or no? It is also not you? Not me. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of a decent spot right now because second, I, I got one wrong already. So. But this one question, I think, changed a lot of things. I, I If I remember it right, everybody who was there at beer versus now, it's different, right? Yeah. Pallavi ji is back in reckoning. Shefali has made it. Sheetal ji and Arjun and whoever is Nitin Kaushal 3. Keep it up, okay? <laughs> okay, moving on uh, to the next question. And this is a double pointer. So you can score a lot more. What dictates the nature of karma? Whether it is binding or non-binding, good or bad, which is performed by us. Type of action. The intention behind the action. The consequences of action or the time and place of the action. 13, three answers are already in. 34. I expect this question should get uh, most people right. And that's, that's there. Good. Nitinji? Yes, so yes, the right answer is the intention behind the action is what matters. Um, the type of action does not matter. The consequences of action is a red herring. I think it was more of a distractor. The time and place of the action, um, they don't matter as well. And intention is the key behind every action or karma that we do. Even in the world, we have looked at this example that when somebody does something, the motive behind that is um, is something that is looked at like even let's say there's a hit and run case so the judge would try to establish whether it was intentional or there was a mistake on the part of the driver or is it something that was accidental not at all intentional right even in, when somebody kills somebody the motive behind that is tried to be established so in this case um, god also notes the intention behind the action as well and in the real world the cop the witness and judge, all three are needed, right? To establish what was your motive. But in case of our actions or our karma, the cop, the witness and the judge, all three is God and he does not make any mistake. So he knows the most deeper desires that we have, even the things that we don't acknowledge to ourselves, right? And that motive is what will dictate whether you have incurred a punya, pap, binding karma or a non-binding karma. And when we talk about karam yoga, that's where, you know, the intention is purified because you're doing it as a service to God. So it becomes non-binding at that point. Right? And if the intention is self-aggrandizement or something like that, I mean, it could fall into karam vikaram category as well. So second one is the right one. Let's see. I think it was an easy one. Uh, While explaining the answer of one question, you end up going out of syllabus and oh, you I end know. up giving answers to other questions, which is unfair. <laughs> see how much people have listened to it carefully and if I get it right myself okay so that's more important okay okay let's see how the leaderboard shows up now Pallaviji Nitin Kaushal is on fire so that's good <laughs> oh my god either one or three like you have been your name has been on top since the beginning <laughs> but awesome rest of the people have maintained their position in top five that's mm. great Yep, that's true. That's I think most of it got it right. So this this did not turn out to be a curveball. All right, mm. let's move on. Yes, moving on to the next question. Multi-select again. So submit, okay? 
in the spiritual realm god assumes the following roles judge witness police officer or none of the above oh my god <laughs> But I've g- gained an advantage on this one. Mm. That way, it is good for you to know the question, right? The moment you said about the, uh, we both are like this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Because of that, now I make it to the podium, which is good. If I had not declared it, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> okay. I don't know how many people listen to you carefully. By the way, we will get to know. So moving, I don't think you want to discuss it further now. Or yeah. So I explained that. See, in this case, what happens is, how is God the witness? Because He's seated within us as garbho akshiro uh, dakshay vishnu right so he is noting down every karma and karma is not only what you are doing but your intention also he is the police officer of course he is a witness then he is a police officer also because he catches every karma right he catches every karma and then he is a judge because we he is he has a perfect justice dispensing system which is also called law of karma right? so the judgment is pronounced by him the catching of you he does that and of course he's a witness that uh, that does not turn hostile so in that case every action that we do every thought that we energize is taken note of by god and god is god he has a super computer because of his yoga maya power who knows not only what you all are thinking right now but also what everybody in your city is thinking what everybody in our country is thinking what everybody in this planet is thinking not just today but across their lifetimes and but everybody across their lifetime have been thinking in all the brahmans okay that is who god is and law of karma is something which enables him to discharge that perfect justice dispensing system so he is a perfect judge in that sense okay so that is the whole idea good questions awesome Okay, moving on. Let's see how the leaderboard looks. Now there must be two Nitin Koshals in the five, uh, top oh, five. You know what? Uh, I oh my god! If I had not declared. Hello, Kirti. Is that you? <laughs> and then you kicked out the other Nitin Koshal. Oh my god! No, hello, Kirti. Who's told you that's me? Huh? I I guess that's what you are. <laughs> Let's okay, see. we'll know at the end. We'll yes. get to know at the end. Okay, not not sure as yet. But Chef Ali, Arjun, and Pallavi ji, they have maintained their position in the top five. But I'm very disappointed with Nitin Kaushal three and one. Okay, you <laughs> pull up your socks. Cisco, interesting. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, Arun ji wants yeah. to say something. Radhi, Radhi. Arun ji. Yeah, can we come back to the option page? Uh, for the last question. Get back again. Oof. I, um, I can I can go to the so, so, I okay, no worries. So, yeah I want to just discuss that that role looks to maybe I missed the uh, discussion earlier so the role that is being said uh, in three role that looks to be in the material world spiritual world all are doing good why there is uh, need of uh, judgment in the spiritual world spiritual world there is a need of judgment because we spoke about this concept right every action has a consequence Right. So in the God, material world no even in spiritual world what is law of karma it's a spiritual law where every action has a consequence that is why we have prarabdh that is why we have sanchit karma so in material world we need three entities to establish the intent of a person in spiritual world all the three entities are god himself right so for every action every thought that you have done across your lifetimes it gets counted as your stockpile of all the karmas called sanchit karma and then a drop is picked and given to you as a prarabdh so in the spiritual world there are laws like we have laws in material world there are laws in spiritual world as well now that was an analogy given that doesn't mean god has wearing a cap like a cop would do and he's pronouncing judgment like this but that was an analogy we spoke about in our class that in material world you need these three entities and in the spiritual world the same thing is happening god is a witness he is seated within and he is giving you results as a judge right? because our relation is transactional so far only when we move towards a mercy based system 
that's when uh, you know uh, god starts giving you grace and other things but so far we are playing a game of perfect justice dispensing system and that follows the divine law of law of karma happy to discuss more with you uh, tarun ji sure, sure. yeah yeah all about this concept here yeah. all right let's move on same question for which two more people have raised hand i can i quickly unmute them nitin ji and ask sure, sure. sandhya ji radhe 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 uh somehow I'm, i'm not able to see the submit button just clicking the option itself says that i have already submitted it uh i'm in uh, kuhu dot no, no, so uh, you should see that not possible you should see that either yeah. at the bottom or at the top if you Are have you... this phone then it stop if you have normal phone i mean i shouldn't say normal no, no, i'm in the I'm, I'm, not, I'm, in, I'm in the tablet somehow i did not see but until now all the uh, answers are right from my side i'm thinking that i already submitted you might have missed it out always check for a submit button whenever it's a multi select okay it's not possible you not see uh, but you yeah. might find it on the top right on the screen yeah so i actually received this message from some more people as well but yes as nitin ji mentioned for all the multi select questions you will have submit somewhere or the other the format yeah. might be different for different devices but you just check uh, look for that for single uh, option questions you just uh, mm. select the option and it gets submitted automatically oh then i was i, I was thinking that i am able to answer all five questions okay. no worries yeah. we'll continue okay shefali and cisco game on and arjun pallavi ji shweta ji has also raised hand i'll just quickly take that yes shweta ji radhe 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 everybody i have a, i joined in late i'm sorry um the previous question where it says the role of god in in spiritual realm uh, this judge and police um it it's kind of they both have negative connotation those words yes like so if you attended that, attended sessions then this question will not come because that's an analogy we gave an analogy in the session that doesn't mean that Okay, God. not literally judge or police, That's, right? Judge, in a way, judge, yes, because he's he's giving you a justice, right? Judge is more like a justice dispensing system. So that analogy was discussed at great length in our session to explain how it maps to how justice is meted out in this material world. Similarly, justice is meted out to each one of us in form of law of karma, and in, and in that case, all the three roles are played by the court. so if you had attended the session then this question would be put in no, post I, i guess i missed that sure. and also in the options uh, you will see protector in the brackets in front of police yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah that's true and also just to add nitin ji i remember in the session you mentioned that in the material world people in these roles are corruptible but in the spiritual realm it is all the roles are played by god and he is not corruptible and hence it is perfect very uh, true system yeah, yeah. true Okay, moving on now. Okay, we have a lot more questions and less time, so let's just focus. Can't on wait. This. Please go ahead. <laughs> okay, next question. Double points. Okay, read it carefully. Okay, saints perform actions for the welfare of dash, whereas we do actions for the pleasure or to derive pleasure for. For options. soul super soul soul others souls ourselves super soul god can we confusing for some but giving away too, too many answers huh? in discussions only okay see okay yeah but i think majority have given an one answer but let's see you want to do the discussion first nitin ji yeah i think we spoke about this concept saints perform actions for the welfare of souls that is for us because they have nothing else to achieve they have already attained that perfect bliss that we spoke about they have attained the bliss which is everlasting ever fresh and infinite in extent in fact they saints are technically saints are god like however because we are not yet there we will continue to you know seek happiness for our own sake only when we become god realized then only we have no motive but for the welfare of others but until that point we will continue to seek bliss and that is why it is said start seeking bliss in the right direction not at the direction of material world which is never going to give us bliss it is going to give us um, temporary bliss and mostly pain and never the fulfillment that our soul is seeking for so i think we spoke about this awesome so let's look at the leaderboard no change 
आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर यू आर चलो खेलते हैं <laughs> so this is just to get a sense which segment of the daily wisdom from bhagavad gita class you enjoy the most some of the options are written but that's not all so you can just write anything and let's see what uh takes the maximum space in the word cloud you get to know which is nitin ji's favorite segment as well I won't tell you that I put in all, okay? <laughs> We have given enough time so that people can write. Okay, this is a non-graded question, so no pressure whatsoever. Yeah, this is time for you to breathe sufficiently. <laughs> And this is one of those deserts you can have even if you are conscious of sugar intake, okay? That's right. The desert uh, segment is actually the devotional segment. Right. And the soul soup has recently started. Rasgulla, <laughs> truth Nitin ji tells. <laughs> soul soup, wonderful. I'm glad this uh, segment is well received. So. Yeah, amazing. All. We'll, we'll uh, continue to uh, keep it going. Then, very nice. My favorite is truth, Nitin Ji tell. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move further. So another question: multi-select, so submit, submit. and pointer. Oh my God! <laughs> What are the qualities of God realized saints? They have no requirement to get back to the material world. They are also bound by Maya. They remain in perpetual bliss. Maya can never overcome that. Five more seconds to go. Still haven't received all the answers. So. Okay. All Just right. So we have no requirement to get back to the material world. Is correct. They are not obliged to. they may decide to come back um as a profitable servant of god they have no obligation to get back into the material world and deal with uh, global warming ukraine war covid and all that stuff they are also bound by maya that is not correct they never come under maya okay they become yoga maya yukt that means they are above maya at that point they remain in perpetual bliss that is also correct they always remain in because now they are um you know one with god um and at that point they when they become god like uh, not one with god but they become god like then they they get the sat chit anand of god they are in perfect knowledge perpetual bliss and eternity of course is there as well so even though you may see that you know some of the saints that have come they have suffered from cancer or they are undergoing things they are with they, they don't even experience the pain maya can never overcome them so i think that is uh, the key thing they are beyond maya and uh, maya has no power over them at that point because once you become godlike maya loses its grip over you permanently so all three options are right the second one was an incorrect one so let's see awesome i guess many people got it right so the leader would would be good cisco and chalo khelte hain like a just angad ki tarah <laughs> and then pallavi ji is also continue to be there Are of new edition, Nitin Koshil three is keeping up to your name, Nitin ji, and one has Nandi. to do better job now. Okay, Nandi is the highest climber. Highest climber, wonderful. Nandi, good going. Awesome. Okay, next question. Which of these traits has been the root root cause of most human conflicts? Greed, selfishness, impatience, or jealousy? Oh, there's just one option. 
What? Oh, what is wrong with you? The question, the way it was introduced in the session was, which is the biggest pain for human life? Second life. one, I'm getting wrong. Okay, which I'm only forgetting. Okay, I thought it was a multi-select for some reason. Nitinji, hmm. you are now getting a feel of a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm getting feel of kahoot. Okay, how how can you get it wrong? Okay, oh so my answer, God, twenty so... one people have this is a good enough discrepancy, Nitinji. Right, I know. No, the selfishness is what we spoke about. That becomes uh, the root cause for that, and we spoke it as a, the big one of the biggest b bains of uh, human humanity, because our selfishness. Uh, pretty much dictates uh, most of the other things right like there is a scarcity mindset and then there is a selfishness aspect of it where we think we keep our bubble limited which causes most of the human conflict so selfishness is the right answer i agree to that i got it wrong but i agree to that so good one this is the one where kahoot you know kahoot click comes into picture and you get it wrong but let's see okay let's so see word. this for what Oh my God, Cisco also got no. He got it right. I got it wrong. So, but nobody. Shefali is on fire. Shefali is on fire. Harsh is now in the top five. Mm. Palavi is there still. Well done. The guy gap has widened. Okay, on the top spot. Okay, Cisco. I think. Chalo, khelte hain. See, I knew it. That was you. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm maybe Nitin Kaushal three, right? Who knows. Oh yeah, just okay. Let's see. Okay, let's move on. This is a double pointer. Does God also perform binding karma? Yes, God performs binding karma in order to teach us a lesson. He sometimes do binding and non-binding based upon the situation. His actions are always non-binding and are motivated by compassion and none of this. Eight answers. Okay. This is might be easy for people. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Time for discussion, Nitinji. So yes, God action binding karma in order to teach us a lesson. No, God's are when God actions are technically called technically called leela. What we do is called karma. What God does is called Leela and it is never binding, okay, regardless of whether he wants to teach us a lesson or not. Sometimes binding and non-binding, that is also not correct because it's never binding. None of these is also not correct because there is one answer which is right, okay, which is God's actions are always non-binding and motivated by compassion or welfare for others. That is the right answer. So we cannot put our brains or mind to God's Leelas. They are never binding. Okay, he's not bound by any karma at all. He's beyond karma. He's untainted by karma, and he's beyond my awareness. So the third one is right. Awesome. Okay, let's move on. Let's see the scoreboard. This go and chalo khelte hain and chaypali. All three of them are just stuck at their position. Harsh yeah. also actually, and then Tanmay ji have now have now come up. Tanmay ji is playing well. Tanmay ji, well done. Wonderful. Nitin Kaushal one and three. Okay, guys, come on. <laughs> but also Cisco because uh, Cisco I is think... rock solid. Yeah, yeah. Cisco is actually rock solid, and also is having a lot of margin. Yeah, a lot of margin. I think Cisco has already sealed the deal. Nitin ji, chalo khelte hain. You have to pull up the socks. <laughs> okay. Double pointer. Can we understand dharma through our mental speculation? Yes, no, sometimes, or it depends. Simple question. Very, simple very interesting question. Especially this question's answer can really change before and after the session. You know? True. This I'm. I have no clue what you're going to put an answer. I'll explain it accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. So in this case, I think even if you had put sometimes, I would have said, okay, maybe. But yeah, answer, I think in our context of our session, I think Bhagavatam verse we had taken where it has said that we 
cannot. Even the great sages, Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita Shloka that for them to understand dharma is, is even for great sages, it is very difficult. Now, difficult means never, you know, even if somebody had some, sometimes we could have raised a controversy around, sometimes you may get it right, sometimes not. But yeah, um, if you look at it, it's it's not an easy thing. So uh, we'll go with the answer, no, for now. Uh, but dharma is something that it's not a matter of mental speculation. Only God who has created dharma can tell what, what an appropriate dharma is in a given condition uh, situation. Um, with our mental speculation, with our own understanding, we can never uh, know that. Great sages, great people, personalities like Bhishma Pitama is known as one of the 10 Mahajans in our uh, scriptures. He also got it wrong, right? He got attached to his dharma. Uh, Yudhishthir, for that matter, got attached to his dharma. There are enough examples around it. Um, so, dharma is not a matter of mental speculation at all. All we can exercise is, uh, you know, purity of intention or take guidance from Guru. But God is the only knower of true dharma. That is the key thing to understand. I think we spoke about this topic. So, let's see. Okay, let's see how the leader would. Oh, okay, now it's a word cloud. This is interesting. As we all know, Janmashmi is coming up next. We would love to know which is your favorite Krishna Leela and probably that can help our, our teams for their presentations as well. So, let's see what mm. happens. We have ample amount of time to think and write. And I guess we are also over with the Kahoot now. This is the last one to go. Muted. Okay. I know I had muted because I was having a banter chat. Okay. <laughs> I was explaining why am I getting my own questions wrong. <laughs> Can you answer that to us as well? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, Govardhan. Makhan Chori. That's an overwhelming favorite. I think we can see a lot of presentations around that, it seems like. Yeah. Everything, all the Leelas, Bal, but I think mostly it's around Bal Gopal uh, aspect of Krishna. Bal Gopal, very true. Yashoda Maya and yeah. Ras Leela is also there though. Yeah, interesting. Very nice. Oh, I should keep a screenshot of this. Yeah, keep that. I think that will help people to prepare for as well, I guess. Good one. Nice. Okay. So yeah, the quiz is over. Let's see the final... Oh, the quiz quiz is over already? I thought there Podium. would be another double pointer, huh? no? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Ali is the second runner-up. Chalo Kinti is the first runner-up and... Cisco. Oh, that's a tough challenge. Are you going and to show the I... complete scorecard as well to see where... Right away or should we hear the people or what do you want? Like... Yeah, let, let's hear the people and then we can get, get to that. And also Harsh, P and Tanmayji were among the top five, which is great. So congratulations to all the winners. And now let's hear. Nitinji, you want to reveal that you were Chalo Khelte hai? So let's see the, the, the other ones first. Okay, I may not be there at all. Okay. Okay, so okay, who is Cisco? Can you please raise your hand? So how do I get my Zoom back? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Rupa ji, you have raised your hand. Uh, today, the Kahoot, today the Kahoot quiz was attended by my husband. So, he was saying, I don't know all the questions. And I said, to know the questions, you have to join the Attending classes. Class. <laughs> That's right. He, he was uh, showing some interest. I was busy. I said, on behalf of me, answer. But he answered everything by himself. So he was saying, no, I got very less score. I said, at least you got score. That is more important. You participated. Yeah, yeah, he played. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, but who is Cisco? Not... Okay, who is Cisco? Let's get Cisco. So I got, I got the message, iPhone. He just left. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. cool. Congratulations to Cisco G for like being the topmost. Then, chalo, khelte hain ji. 
Okay, that's that's me. Okay, चलो खेलते हैं. I got two questions wrong and so Cisco. Congratulations, he was rock solid. I don't think I think he got probably one question wrong. I got two questions wrong. That made all the difference. Awesome, Nitin ji. Even after that, you are the second ranker. It's your first kahoot. I don't know. I'll be. I should be happy or not. But uh, I think I did decent, right? For my first game, I got two questions wrong. Okay, and that was so all. The thing is. So the thing is that there, there is one more thing. Other than knowledge, we also have to get used to Kahoot. Otherwise, it's not possible to come first. I know. It's a bit of a mental tuning because questions which I thought were going to be multi-select or something happened, but now you get tuned to it. I had no hope. I was like twenty-two or twenty-four. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and then I made a comeback. But Shivali, well played. Uh, we can probably look at top fifteen if we want to see that. Uh, yes, now I'll get to the summary. Uh, Chef Ali can also speak. She Who was can... Nitin Kaushal one and three? Tell me, you were playing really well. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, by the way. Maybe I know your names. I can announce those, but let's check it out. But you guys were were playing really well, okay? Until some of the other questions came in. So, but Cisco was rock solid. I think very nicely played. Whoever Cisco was, iPhone. And uh, congratulations to all of you who participated so enthusiastically. And I think this game was really good. And I'll get better, okay? I promise you. From next time, I will be geared up for it next time around, okay? But good quiz. I would like to congratulate the people, you know, Himanshu, Sandhya, and if Rahul helped as well. Yes, you yes, guys, Rahul. You know, it was. It was mostly Sandhya ji and Rahul. Yeah. yeah, you guys did a good job. In fact, the questions were very well thought through. And you covered so many aspects, including the segments, and I, I really enjoyed doing do that. It was a good blend of uh, different kind of questions, and pretty much covered the tattu gyan that we've been talking about over the last couple of sessions. So great job! Okay, now you have a uh, what do you call that an ongoing job, I should say, so that I can play every session. Right. I enjoyed doing that. Okay, yes, a uh, couple of hands we have seen. Maybe you want to show the scorecard as well. And yeah, in the play. meanwhile, I'll show. I'll I'll just download the Excel sheet and I'll show it. Uh, in the meanwhile, you can probably hear from participants, Nitinji. Sure. Yes, uh, Samji, you wanted to say something, and then Monica ji and Pallavi ji. Pallavi ji, you are very solid for most part. I don't know towards the end, maybe something happened, but you were playing really well. Uh, yes, uh, Shefali, you haven't said anything. You have to say something because you are on the podium. You can't be on the podium and not say anything. Yeah, Radhi, Radhi, everyone. Yeah, the Kahoot quiz was really uh, very engaging and interesting. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. You played. Hats well. off to you, Sandhya, Himanshu ji, Rahul ji. Seriously, <laughs> and Nitin ji, we really enjoyed that you are playing with us too. <laughs> You are staying behind me, okay? You made me a little jittery, okay? Towards the <laughs> yes, uh, Samji, you wanted to say something? Radhe, Radhe, Nitin ji, you have two questions wrong. Knowingly, just like Krishna ne Bishm ko banana ke liye kiya tha, to apne bhi amka bard rakhne ke liye, baaki ko jitane ke liye. You lost those questions knowingly. <laughs> Not knowingly. <laughs> My second comment is that one. Jo eleventh question tha usme dharm ke liye. To apne bola ke no. Sometime kyoke wo like a bishop was a mental speculation. Depends upon the situation. The situation he saw at that time in the court. That's why he did not see it. He could have used it. It wasn't. So it is a depends upon the situation. He could have changed his mind. Okay. I think that should be the some yeah. depends like depends that, on that the situation. Question, that question could have gone either way, but yeah, that's fine. I think one of these things can happen. So I I put all these kind of questions all the time. What but do yeah, you think? What is the I right answer? It, it is open to um, a little bit, but that's yeah. I get that. Fair point, Sanji. You always get to the nitty gritty of it. Very nice. Um, so thank you for bringing that out. All right. By the way, iPhone is, uh, I don't know. Thank you for favoring me always. I don't know. Who's some, somebody whose iPhone is saying that. I don't know why they would say that. But yes, Pallavi, you wanted to say something? Yeah, Radhe Radhe Nitinji. Um, Radhe Radhe, good, good evening, everyone. So first of all, Nitinji, we thoroughly, thoroughly played, especially playing with you. 
knowing that nitin ji is also playing today that added like you know cherry on the cake kind of so for me i can say that i started with 2012 or something i climbed up to podium and then i had that one tricky question i think so where we all thought that it will be multi select like you know greed and selfishness i would have selected selfishness but that ma made me going little little down but yeah i i enjoyed always playing a uh, kahoot and i think i still was in the seventh position or something but yeah i enjoyed it was very well um uh, made quiz all interesting questions and tricky ones especially the puri one was very interesting i had to really think about that that when the ghee makes sound and all those stuff um a very very good question congratulations and like you know uh thank you very to all really enjoyable quiz so, pallavi ji you are playing really well you are in top 5 for a long time i saw that so uh but uh, i keep sliding all the time <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, i keep jumping and then sliding keep jumping so it's like always but i i enjoy um uh, playing a lot yeah it's a good That's game so good thing yeah. and i want to hopefully we can have more participants come in we want to break the record of 50 participants so 50 60 playing in parallel would make it for a great game actually so but yeah thank you pallavi ji and uh, um i am glad you enjoyed it as much as we did so yes. monica ji you wanted to say something as well or yes. are we and congratulations nitin ji sifali and all the winners uh, on the podium awesome so uh, we have the list up nitin ji this is what we want to show sure nitin kaushal one is at 16 <laughs> nitin ji is checking only that <laughs> and one is at 21 One is at twenty one. So who slipped one spot down? Is it Kavita or <laughs> tell me that? Okay, one spot down. See, this game can be very, very. You can slip very quickly in this game. So you could be in podium or you could, you know, climb up pretty quickly. So that makes it all the fun. Uh, Monica, you wanted to add something? Energy, yes, sir. But yeah, I think um, anybody who wants to call out, uh, who's happy, not happy, is surprised, want to share about their slot. Please yeah, I can go further down, down if someone wants me to. Otherwise, It's, I'll keep the stream here. And we will look at uh, you know creating uh, more varieties of this game so that we make it engaging for fun. You know, we're deliberating on some ideas. Maybe teams we can form at times and take help and all that. So we'll see. We'll figure out. So keep revising your tattoo game. It's a good way to incentivize yourself to let it go deeper, not just here but think over it. and then thursdays will make it even more fun for you as we go along okay so i will look forward to these sessions and more and more participants should come forward yes monica ji please go ahead yeah radhe radhe monica ji radhe radhe i was nitin kaushal one <laughs> 16 and that too similar similar dilemma right i thought it's multi select so i just selected first greed otherwise i was going to selfishness <laughs> that one got me yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that happened. Something similar happened. Yeah, right. And and then in in few of the questions, for some reason, I was using that laptop for the first time. So my other icons were on top of the question. <laughs> I'm not saying I could have come, you know, come first or something, but then at, at least in <laughs> a decent position. <laughs> Within question three now, you know, this puzzle is solved. I know, but then let us say ourselves. <laughs> puzzle is solved, and I have not asked said the name, but the person is saying no, it was not me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'll move on with uh, Tarunji, Radhe Radhe. Tarunji, please go ahead. Cool. Radhe Radhe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is very good format. Uh, I love this. Uh, just uh, one thing, maybe uh, we increase from five to ten. I would look like to get it increased more. Uh, maybe like twenty uh, or thirty. Maybe we can just uh, put all the question at once and then. Uh, So I'm basically, saying you are saying we, we don't want to listen to you in between. So we will no, no, yeah. Questions. At the end, uh, yeah, like thirty, like, like uh, maybe that can have a it, monthly. We do fifty. Uh, let's do fifty. You're going to make it an entrance exam, uh, Tarun ji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's make it a fifteen question quiz, ten to fifteen question quiz, and I will limit my talks. Okay, that will make it more fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do that. Fifteen question is fine, right? That that is inclusive of word cloud and other things as well. Sure, Tanmay ji, fair so point. Then it was twelve, just three more. 
Yeah, 12 is fine. Yeah, three more. We used to do 15 questions quiz earlier, one hour, one full hour. So I think we can make it a, should not be a problem. Okay. No. Let's hear from Komal Ji. I think she wants to say something. Yes, Tanmay Ji, are you done or? Oh, wait. I just, I think he was done. If you're not, please re raise your hand. In, in the meanwhile, Komal Ji, Radhe Radhe. Uh, finally, Nitul Ji, I came from 25th to 18 today, so I'm proud of myself. Oh, <laughs> I was Govind. <laughs> Oh. And I just wanted, I'm not sure if you can see, but I like, uh, oh, well, I have actually, kept the Radha Krishna. Komalji, I have a different take on it. You were actually yeah. competing with 18 to 25th and you came first. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Please finish your thought. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. She no, was showing you. us her Govind, uh, who is at uh, oh, behind us. Yeah. Very nice. yeah. See, the play, playing is more important. The, we try to make it fun and interactive, uh, but more important, it's playing and and you know, incentivizing ourselves to get the concepts right because we are learning Bhagavad Gita. It's a big thing, right? And then if you we understand the concepts, nothing can be more empowering than true knowledge. So it's a huge empowerment in that sense, right? So in that sense, let's look at it that way. Yes. yes. Uh, Prabhat and then Vikas had raised his hand. He had his video. Yes, uh, Prabhat, please go ahead. Really, I just had one question wrong, uh, one answer wrong. So I, uh, it was a little tricky for me because, like, uh, I selected greed uh, instead of uh, selfishness. So, can you please highlight why selfishness is the uh... see root cause is selfishness. That's why greed comes, right? If you look, go go back to the reason of greed. Also, it's selfishness. So the fundamentally, it's a selfishness that causes the other things as well. So, I mean, if there was ignorance, that would have made it even more interesting. But we spoke about this concept, the fact that we are very selfish, that cause that is the root cause of most of the things right now. Okay, so yes, if, yes. Think, uh, if we take our soul as ourself, then so it will not be like that, right? That so, we always we, live in ignorance. But we live in ignorance, right? The selfishness, we are not truly selfish. We are actually catering to our body and not our soul. If you become truly selfish, then it will be good actually for us. Because then we are thinking about our soul. right? In every situation, we will think, okay, the earning money would make sense because earning money is for the body, comforts of the body, or earning spiritual wealth would make sense. So if you are truly selfish, we will go after spiritual wealth. More than anything else. Yeah. Yes, Vikas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm asking you, uh, can we get the ans answer key and the question paper? <laughs> this uh, actually, you know, this uh, this summary sheet has a lot of details, Nitinji. Like each and every question wise. And... Hello, hello. Yeah, yes. we can hear you. Uh... Understood. It's a hardy our request. Did you did you join right from the beginning? No, I was. Uh, I was and you need to join. So you need to find ways to join and then take screenshot of the answer. Yeah, yeah. So you need to find ways to join and then take screenshot of the answers. Okay, that is the only way. So okay. I don't have the facility to get a screenshot in the laptop. So that's why I'm telling you. Then we can find out ways to give you the uh, questions or answer key around it, right? But keep preparing, focus on the things which are within your control at this point, and then whatever we can do for others, we'll do, right? Other, we don't want to open up a can of worms where now everybody's asking for a report and then it will create more work on our, uh, you know, operations people. So, I mean, just like uh, you, just like you sent the uh, uh, forum, no? Ki, jase aapo har din daily we'll think about hai. that. We'll think about that, what is practical to do, and we'll, we'll certainly accommodate. Any, yeah, and anyway, uh, because we have daily summary, which is posted uh, uh, every day, right? So that includes all of this, all the questions as well. So, so you can just read that every day and that will cover. Okay. SSPG, Radhe Radhe. Uh, um, Madam Ji, actually, when if we have, let us say, one question is, I know the answer, but I wrongly uh, selected one. Can again, I went to the correct one. That is a one, uh, the, this one. Second one, I could not type the answer. Where to type, I don't know. 
we will get we all get better with kahoot once we do it multiple times so don't worry about that it happens so where to, to type typing answer type, type type answer it was not a graded answer it was a word cloud you will get an option you simply need to type so even if you don't type anything you will not be penalized but you will see the box that's where you can type it and it's a word cloud it's a non graded question wherever you have to type by and the way iphone, iphone is requesting me to unmute unmute the person i don't know who is iphone and they say make me great by unmuting me so let's make iphone great whoever iphone is uh, <laughs> iphone ji you can raise your hand and we can iphone ji please unmute. raise your hand we will make you great um, <laughs> by calling your name and if you can show your face even better and um, nitin ji i just wanted to add this that in the kahoot i when i was playing i realized that even if we make some questions wrong at the end it gives us a chance to correct what we made wrong and learn what was the right answer to it so which is a nice thing so i think all of us can do if we made any mistakes okay no that's good good i think we had a pretty good conversation so we have a little bit of time we can spend in our last segment if anybody wants to chat recite something but good game uh, i really um, like the fact that so much so much of enthusiasm and energy is there in these games and we'll try to make it more creative as we go along and more competitive of course right uh, maybe some other options we will try where we can form teams compete against each other kon banega karodpati kon banega karodpati kind of concept right help lines call a friend we'll see what whatever is possible within technology but we'll try to do that see it, the good part about this is that now you'll be thinking about knowledge a little more deeper right and those concepts are very important and i'm sure krishna will also love it what we are trying to do with bhagavad gita knowledge here and yeah, it is the past or... yeah past one week many people were just revising and revising and looking at videos which is so good right <laughs> yeah prabhat made me go back to a screenshot because i <laughs> i knew he wanted to prepare for it. so many people have been preparing for it very nice that's good and Great. thank you for participating your own, yourself i think that made it a lot more fun for many many participants you yeah, know thank you for giving me that opportunity i mean i never thought one day i could participate like this and uh, um, yeah it was good actually cisco pipped me out but i'll try to get better okay as we go along this was the first one so okay iphone or cisco i don't know who is the winner if you don't want to disclose your identity we will honor that but if you can come on screen that will be good okay so we'll give you about 3 seconds to make up your mind otherwise we'll move to the devotional segment 1 2 3 time is over yes <laughs> tanmichi you wanted to uh, narrate or sing today yes tarunji adhi radhi please go yes, ahead for the devotional for the devotional sure, please go ahead and uh, do we have any other any more hands or we can yes go ahead uh, tarunji and sandhya is there as well maybe one more uh, or i can recite if time permitting and then we'll wrap it up for today okay radhe radhe okay radhe kamli sham di kamli ni mai kamli sham di kamli kamli sham di kamli ni mai kamli sham di kamli रूप सलोना देख श्याम का सुदबुद मेरी खोई रूप सलोना देख श्याम का सुदबुद मेरी खोई नि मैं कमली होई हो नि मैं कमली होई कमली श्याम दी कमली नि मैं कमली श्याम दी कमली सखी पन घट पर यमुना के तट पर लेकर पहुंची मटकी सखी पन घट पर यमुना के तट पर लेकर पहुंची मटकी भूल गई सब एक बार जब छवि देखी नट खट की भूल गई सब एक बार जब छवि देखी नट खट की देखत ही मैं हुई बावरी उसी रूप में खोई देखत ही मैं हुई बावरी उसी रूप में खोई नि मैं कमली होई हो नि मैं कमली होई कमली शाम दी कमली नि मैं कमली शाम दी कमली कदम के नीचे अखियां मीचे 
खड़ा था नंद का लाला कदम के नीचे अखिया मीचे खड़ा था नंद का लाला मुख पर हंसी हाथ में बंसी मोर मुकुट गल माला मुख पर हंसी हाथ में बंसी मोर मुकुट गल माला तान सुरीली मधुर नशीली तान सुरीली मधुर नशीली तन मन दियो भिगोई निम कमली होई निम कमली होई कमली शाम दी कमली निम कमली शाम दी कमली सास ननद मोहे पल पल को से हर कोई देवे ताने सास ननद मोहे पल पल को से हर कोई देवे ताने बीत रही मुझ बिर बीत रही हर मुझ बिर हन पर ये कोई ना जाने पूछे सब निर्दोष बावरी पूछे सब निर्दोष बावरी तट पे तू काहे गई निम कमली होई हो निम कमली होई कमली शाम दी कमली निम कमली शाम दी कमली रूप सलोना देख शाम का सुदबुद मेरी खोई रूप सलोना देख शाम का सुदबुद मेरी खोई निम कमली होई हो निम कमली होई राधे राधे so this was although in uh, as a female voice but uh, i have heard vinod agrawal ji is a great uh, singer who sing it so i also, also just attempted it nice. radhe radhe everyone very nice tarun ji radhe radhe it's always sweet the way you go about your bhajan recitation always a pleasure to hear you thank you very much for that thank you so, very yeah. much next yeah wow i mean uh, tarun ji always proof that he is the encyclopedia of bhajans he always gets such nice sweets bhajans i love it okay i'll uh, share my screen and please do fill out the feedback tracker as well if not already we did not announce it we forgot yeah uh, sorry for that, that yeah. is a recommendation suggestion please fill it out as well let's go ahead sanjay you can see my screen yes okay this is a bhajan uh written in the form of a kavali uh, by jagat guru krish kripal ji maharaj so i'll just try to sing this ik nazar unko dekha gazab ho gaya ha gazab ho gaya haal dil ab to mera ajab ho gaya ajab ho gaya एक नजर राधे एक नजर उनको देखा गजब हो गया हा गजब हो गया दिनों दुनिया की दौलत सजोई थी जो हा सजोई थी जो लुट गई पल में यार अब गजब हो गया गजब हो गया तन गया मन गया अक हैरान है हाँ जी हैरान है दर्द दिल बढ़ रहा है गजब हो गया गजब हो गया बेतरस भी ना खाए मेरे हाल पर हाँ मेरे हाल पर फिर ना आए दोबारा गजब हो गया हाँ गजब हो गया दर्द दिल में मगर ऐसा पाया मजा हाँ जी पाया मजा अब कहेंगे कृपालू गजब हो गया हाँ गजब हो गया एक नजर राधे एक नजर उनको देखा गजब हो गया हाँ गजब हो गया हाल दिल अब तो मेरा अजब हो गया अजब हो गया एक नजर थैंक यू
very nice it's a very beautiful kawali from maharaji one of many kawalis that he has written as well so very nicely done loved it thank you sandhya for bringing all the beautiful bhajans and uh, very very awesome the way you rendered this soulful singing so loved it anybody else for today or we are good then we had a pretty good game and we completed our we didn't have the soul soup today but i think our game made up for it pretty much thoroughly enjoyed it shefali you want to sing as well kavita when are we going to listen to your kavita i know you are building the suspense now okay it's about time okay very soon nidhi ji but now we know a lot of people are loving the soul soup segment yeah that is a very heartening to see so i'll continue with that okay it puts a bit more pressure on me to find something every day but i'll do that if you come across something please send it my way to okay but yeah it's it's a segment i think which uh, adds a little bit of more variety and spice to the session i'll continue with that great all right so with that we come to the end weekend we'll start sunday again so next week is going to be very focused on karam yoga we have spoken about karam akar vikaram and and introduced a bit of a karam but then that that aspect how can we practically implement it in our life for all the situations that we come across is we will get really deep into that next week so call upon your friends family whoever want to get up to speed on karam yoga and it will be a good way to start on these sessions okay we're going to get really deep into that philosophy yes any anybody wanted to say anything good right you all are smiling so i don't know what it means it means no that... actually monica ji missed uh, what i sang and it was a kavali it has you know so i was just <laughs> kavali got it yeah okay okay so thank you everybody for your enthusiastic participation have a good day, good day and a good rest of your evening i'll see you on sunday evening monday morning again radhe radhe and have a blessed safe weekend thank you yes thank you everybody radhe radhe see radhe you radhe. on sunday and monday bye